The Folger Shakespeare Library, in conjunction with the Buffalo and Erie County Public Library and the State University of New York at Buffalo and the City of Buffalo, is pleased to tell you about our Folger workshop on Gilding the Gilt, the Gilded Age, craft production, and the construction of cultural capital. I'm Barbara Bono, Associate Professor Emerita in the Department of English at UB, and today I'll be joined by my UB co-directors, Carrie Brayman, Professor of English, Stacy Hubbard, Associate Professor of English, and Maria S. Horn, Associate Professor of Theater and Dance. Welcome to our city and its fabulous cultural history and resources. In 1901, at the time of the Pan American Exposition, Buffalo, New York was the eighth largest city in the United States. Based on trade, manufacturing, electrification, and innovation, it also had the largest proportion of millionaires. In counterpoint to this Gilded Age explosion of wealth and technology, the Roycroft campus in the nearby village of East Aurora was the thriving heart of an American arts and crafts movement. It focused both the nostalgic and the progressive energies of such social and aesthetic movements as craft production, women's suffrage, and communal living. Meanwhile, the Niagara Movement, which was the precursor to the NAACP, in 1905 held its first meetings at the Buffalo home of Mary Talbert and at the Erie Beach Hotel just across the Niagara River in Canada. We'd love to invite you to the Folger Institute's American Regional Shakespeare Series, where we will be offering our workshop, Gilding the Gilt, the Gilded Age, Craft Production, and the Construction of Cultural Capital, from Thursday, April 27th, through Sunday, April 30th, 2023, right here in our beautiful Buffalo, New York. This workshop will highlight the extraordinary bibliographical resources accumulated and created in Buffalo during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. It will set them against the built environment of the city and its performance traditions then and now. Central to this exploration are the rare books collections of both the Buffalo and Erie County Public Library and the University at Buffalo Special Collections, anchored by two sets of all four 17th century Shakespeare folios. The Shakespeare folios were collected by local notables, Charles Clifton, chairman and CEO of Pierce Era Motors, and Thomas Lockwood, lawyer and businessman, at the same late 19th and early 20th century cultural moment when Henry Clay and Emily Folger drew together their extensive Shakespeare materials and built the Folger Shakespeare Library in Washington, DC. Here is Shakespeare Folio scholar, Dr. Emma Smith of Oxford University, when she visited as part of Buffalo Bar 2016, 400 years since Shakespeare, on the value of our holdings. So today I was talking about the first collected edition of Shakespeare's plays. It comes out in 1623. It's one of the most famous books in the world, most valuable books in the world. And there's a copy right here in uh, Buffalo and Erie County Libraries. How did it move from being uh, always quite an expensive but a reasonably ordinary product of the Elizabethan Jacobean print industry to being this uh, almost like a kind of secular relic. You know, if you see the exhibit here in Buffalo, obviously this book's so valuable it's in a glass case. When you look at the books, you can see all kinds of marks of times when this has just been a regular book. Children have doodled in it. Uh, there is, uh, the, my favorite type of mark is uh, a, a, the kind of foot of a wine glass, you know, or a kind of ring mark, uh, just showing this has been on the table while people have just been working or enjoying it or something. So I think what Buffalo residents should do come to the library, look um, that you own, you've got a part share in one of the most amazing and influential and valuable books in the English language. Just come down and see it. These Shakespeare folios anchor extensive collections of other early European classics in both libraries. They provided the impetus for the libraries to collect other examples 
of the fine book trades, as well as notable American works. For example, both libraries contain complete sets of all 53 books from William Morris's British Arts and Crafts Kelmscott Press. They also hold extensive printed materials from the Arts and Crafts Presses at the Roycroft campus. And the public library owns the subscription acquired Milestones of Science collection, which contains 198 first and early editions of the world's most significant scientific works. The library also owns the unique manuscripts of Mark Twain's Huckleberry Finn. The UB Special Collections is the library of record for 20th and 21st century Anglophone poetry. It also houses the world's largest and most comprehensive collection of manuscripts and works by James Joyce, including all 66 of the notebooks for Finnegan's Wake. Here are UB Poetry Collection curators, Dr. Michael Bozinski and Dr. James Maynard, describing the UB Shakespeare folios and the bringing together of the two sets of folios at the Buffalo and Erie County Public Library in 2016. These are the first four folios of William Shakespeare. So if one grants that Shakespeare is the greatest English author, then these are perhaps the greatest books of the English language. In 1623, around 750 copies of this were originally published, and around 230 currently exist. These books came to us from Thomas B. Lockwood, great generous donor to the university libraries. They are securely locked up in the safest place on this campus in temperature and humidity controlled environments. Everyone wants to know how much is it worth. And for us, it's really the cultural value, the intellectual value that we like to stress. I have witnessed people come here and cry. I've seen people bend over and kiss these volumes and give undergraduate direction uh, that they have followed now through their entire careers. Buffalo is a wonderfully endowed city that has not just our copies of the folios, but also the downtown public libraries. The folios will leave here. We will drive them to the Buffalo and Erie County Public Library, where we will have a wedding of folios. They will be on exhibition for three months, and I hope the general public will just come by and visit us. Our workshop will be introduced on Thursday afternoon and evening by an illustrated public lecture, setting the stage, creating a fictional narrative of Buffalo in 1901 by Buffalo-born novelist Lauren Belfer, author of City of Light, and a round table by professors Ruben Espinosa, Joyce McDonald, and Scott Manning Stevens, discussing the regional, racial, and indigenous reach of Shakespeare in America. These opening events will be followed by two intensive days of guided experience for the workshop participants in the archives of the Buffalo and Erie County Public Library and the University at Buffalo Special Collections. We'll also take some breaks for food and drink at significant related cultural sites, including the Western New York Book Arts Center, just up the block from the Public Library on Buffalo's Literary Corridor, the Marcy Casino overlooking Delaware Park's Shakespeare Hill, site of the annual Shakespeare in Delaware Park, the second largest free Shakespeare festival in the United States. And for our closing reception, the Buffalo History Museum, the only surviving large structure from the 1901 Pan American Exposition. Our Friday afternoon program will feature a dynamic discussion of Buffalo theater past and present by scholars, producers, and performers of Shakespeare. And later, join us at the nearby iconic Irish classical theater for an evening florilegium of performances by our city's professional actors and amateurs, including the youth of Peace of the City, Shakespeare Comes to 716, an intensive tutoring service for at-risk students. On Saturday morning, a guided bus tour by Explore Buffalo, Buffalo's major cultural tourism organization, will take us up Millionaire's Row on Delaware Avenue. Down Michigan Avenue, the parallel site of the African-American Heritage Corridor. 
and over to the west side to see PISA's headquarters in today's great immigrant neighborhood before taking us up to UB Special Collections for the afternoon workshop. And since you'll be in Buffalo, why not plan to stay an extra day on Sunday? We invite you to join us for an optional ticketed bus tour to the original Roycroft campus and lunch at the beautiful Roycroft Inn. And there's plenty more to explore. Consider a visit to the Albright Knox Art Gallery, Forest Lawn Cemetery, the Frank Lloyd Wright Darwin Martin House, and don't forget the nearby sublime cataract of Niagara Falls. All in all, the long weekend promises to be an intensive place-based study of Shakespeare in regional America. Print materials will be layered onto performance history and a broad cultural and physical map to create a rich scholarly and critical three-dimensional educational experience for everyone. We hope that you will apply to join the workshop when applications open in late fall 2022. Travel funding is available for all. Visit the Folger Institute Scholarly Program's website this fall for more information.